Hey, hey, it's time to get cooking with Dee. Today, we're making hatch green chili. What, what? We just have a small batch. First thing you wanna do, just rinse off those chilies. You don't know who's been touching this stuff, right? Just some water in your hand. And these are pretty good size. Most people will get them in a 25 pound bag or a 40 pound bag. We just got these at the local grocery store. Once they're washed, you're gonna put them on a cookie sheet lined with tin foil. And the reason you put them with tin foil is because the juices in here are gonna start to bubble up and you don't want a big mess underneath on your cookie sheet. Okay, here they are in the cookie They're pretty big. Here they are on the cookie sheet. I mean, that's good size. This will be enough for me for a couple of meals. So we'll see. You know what you also could have done is cook them on the stove. If you have one of these kamals, where we call, you know, make our tortillas on there, then you could just put them on there and let them blacken on there. But I needed the oven for something else today. So I went ahead and turned on the oven and now we're gonna put our chilies in there. Here we go. So I put the oven on 350. In you go. We'll see you in about 10 minutes to rotate. Oh, look how big and fluffy those are getting. I need to take them out, poke a hole in them, and turn them over. Okay, you can see it's starting to come out of the oven. See how this is black right here? We want the whole thing black because when you go to go peel it off, it just peels right off and you're left with meat underneath. See how the meat is just right there? See, so good. But you got to make sure that it's done done. Otherwise, see right here how it's sticking? Because that's not all the way black. So we're just going to turn it over again. So this is black, so this will peel right off. You want to make sure everything is black though. It makes it easier to peel that, uh, the meat up. See, that's not black, so it's not going to come off right here. Here, this will come off. So, learn from my example here. All right, we're putting it back in the oven. These are looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my famous orange bowl. We've all seen the orange bowl before. There we go. All right, now I gotta use tongs because my fingers are sensitive. My mom would laugh at me. She saw me picking them up with a fork. Well, anybody would probably laugh at me for picking them up with a fork. Maybe that one will pick up. Oh, that one broke too. There we go. Ooh, this, one's, this one's meaty. Putting them in the bowl. Covering them up with a towel. I'm going to let them sweat there and kind of cool down a little bit. It'll make the skin a lot easier to take off. Once they're done, probably in about 15 minutes or so, we're going to take the skin off and take the seeds out and chop them up and we have chili. All right, we're ready to start splitting these open. They are still a little bit warm. It's easier to do them warm than when they're cold. So see how the skin is just coming right off? This is trash, you're not gonna eat that. I have a little knife just so you can see the inside. There's an easier way to do this, but I just don't have the skills to do that. I do things a little bit harder. But see how you have the, see how you have the seeds in there? Unless you're making something where you like the seeds, I just scrape those right out. So here they go. Scrape it out. And then you have a good piece of chili right here. All that meat in there. Throw it in there. Now if a few seeds get in there, that's no muss, no fuss. Unless you really don't want the seeds. You know, then take the time to, to get every single one of them out. But that's what we're gonna do with the rest of these. I have my trash can close by. So I can get uh, all of the skin and the seeds out of the way. And then you see me touching the seeds, right? Make sure you wash your hands when you're done. You're gonna pay the price for that later if you don't.
next one. Ooh, it smells so good. I highly recommend you at least try this once. There's other ways that you can roast these. When I get a big bag of them, I've been known to go out and put them on the barbecue grill. Put them out there and let them roast. Grab something nice and cold to drink while you're roasting. Makes the whole neighborhood smell. No need to be uh, skimpy on the smell. You just don't want it for yourself in your own kitchen, right? You can let the neighbors know. Let the neighbors know you have some goodness going on in your house. one. Now you can eat it just like this. Sometimes what I do is I'll go ahead and fry me up some pork chops, cut them up really small, fry them up, especially that bone. Let the bone inside that chili, wrap it up in a tortilla and that can be a meal for me. Or you can make Mexican barbecue. What's Mexican barbecue you say? That's a different video. You'll have to stay tuned for that. But it includes carne asada. It also includes corn tortillas, a little bit of butter, and some cheese. So there you go, see? That's what it looks like. Like I said, you can take the rest of these seeds out. I don't mind if there's a few seeds. If you like them, fine. If you don't, sit there and pick them all out. That's fine by me. All right, until the next time I circle around in the kitchen, Ooh, maybe we'll have to make Mexican barbecue. See you later. Okay, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to take out all the seeds. I'm not a seed person. Put some garlic powder and put some salt in there. Chop it up. Bring it around. There we go. I tasted it too. It's a little on the spicy side. Look at that. Great color. Chop it up. Bring it around. There we go, now it's all good.